for committing the time and effort to build your financial action and spending plan, budget and goals should get priority and might just be the most valuable undertaking and time well spent, not wasted you might ever set aside. 5. Think of how you define your own financial worth. Reflect on what it is, what you base it on. Is it concrete data and fact, perception or maybe even a wild guess or estimate? Income, savings and all of your other assets work together to give you the whole fiscal picture. This side of the balance sheet for most people remains fixed and is relatively easy to do when they put their minds to it. 6. Always remember that this process and document known as a family budget is only going to be as good as the data and updates you provide. When acquiring new assets, ensure that this side of the balance sheet is strengthened appropriately. 7. Adjust your focus slightly to more in-depth and longer term. We live so much in the moment, especially if we purchase things or spend our money. We just look at the cost today and do not think of interest over time and this being the total cost of course. 8. Actually setting financial goals will also energize you, give you a reason to work towards something meaningful. You might even start to enjoy uncovering opportunities for frugal choices, penny pinching, and what we prefer to call creative savings techniques. 9. Become financially literate and master the family budget process, tools and worksheets, spending logs. Demystify some of the complexities and just try some fiscal responsibilities, without being overwhelmed by the intricacies of calculations and more. Remember, there is always professional help out there, once you have gotten started, completed the grunt and groundwork to move in and on to a comprehensive consultation with a personal, professional financial planner, who can explain the lay of the land, impact of your situation and plan in more detail. Most of them will offer the first consultation free to assess your situation for you. Most of them utilize state-of-the-art software and technology industry-related and customized tools that shed light on even the darkest situation, to find a little ray of hope and a couple of dollar at the end of the tunnel. There is a way out of the abyss. 10. Family budgeting can be used to teach you good fiscal habits, get in the habit of paying in cash, using your credit cards only for emergencies. Learn how to stop buying on impulse and use your willpower to walk away, say no thank you and leave it at that. Shop at wholesale and discount department stores. Respect your budget limits and stick to it. Buy generic medicine and support your discount pharmacy. Always try to find ways to supplement your income, part-time jobs, your own business or rent a room or floor in your house, offer storage, invest in real estate and take in a boarder or tenant. Turn your thermostat way down in your house and turn off a few lights. Winterize your house from top to bottom. Eliminate and treat areas where heat and energy is lost. Cut back on home and cell phone use. Check insurance policies, shop around and raise your deductible to lower your monthly bill. In isolation, these probably do not have a lot of impact individually, but when they are combining in a well-planned, cleverly executed family budget, with discipline and consistency, they will start to make a difference and you will start to see the benefits and impact on your bottom line. 11. A family budget is a learning tool and process to empower individuals and families to better self-manage the financial resources, spending, cost-cutting and household finances. In general you will be able to set up your own personal or family budget. By tackling the skill and mastery of smart budgeting, you will have a greater understanding eventually of exactly where and by how much, you need to adjust expenses to either live within your means or know how much extra you need to maintain your current lifestyle. 12. Other family budgeting process steps will require you to be able to identify and categorize all your expenses and, coupled with an easy to set up and follow filing system, create the backdrop and framework for all future budgeting and fiscal planning at home or elsewhere. 13. Family budgeting is not something that is taught by parents or schools, however it is such a simplistic concept, process and task that it is almost unthinkable that we are not placing greater focus on it these days. 
in the end, it is all about what you do, to make ends meet, which implies action. To be in charge of your finances, family budgeting gives you a sense of real understanding and control over your money, not the other way around. Money is a tool, and life necessity but it does not prescribe how you should live or spend it. 14. Family budgets allow you to gain knowledge you would otherwise not have had at your fingertips, concerning your own and family finances. For example, knowing where and what expenses you can affect or effectively change, to cut costs appropriately, timely and immediately in certain cases is very helpful. 15. To enable your family budgeting process set up an easy and orderly log, record keeping and filing system, and make spending notes often to track your money and habits. Trust me, we do not know where all our money goes. We are just certain of one thing and that it slips through out fingers, hands and pockets, cards and plastic, fast. 16. Understanding, explaining and sharing the benefits of good budgeting with others is pivotal, to get them on board and participating actively in the family budgeting process. Ask for their ideas and input. Two heads are better than one in most cases. They might think of savings opportunity, consolidations and or things to do without, that you did not even think about or considered for a second. 17. Here are some more family budgeting summary steps to remember. Identify and categorize all expenses, look at categories and line items, types and timing of expenses, amounts and budget accordingly. Remember categories like miscellaneous, discretionary, maintenance, emergency and others. These will also provide you with a little more flexibility when you do have to massage your money budget and cash flow processes to meet need, demands and change. It is of utmost importance that we are able as family budgeters to allocate and adjust expense items, prioritize need with foresight, discretion, informed choice and empowered confidence, stemming from core and in-depth knowledge and accurate information. Practice utilizing a basic budgeting framework and recording method in your family budgeting and formulate your very own personal and or simple home budget or rough first draft of your financial situation, a kind of you are here situational analysis. Chances are you will see and learn something you did not know before. Even if you feel you just have a basic understanding of budgeting and how it can improve your own management of your own and household finances will make a difference. Take the time out to explore and try putting your first one together, following the steps given earlier in this booklet. This guide and its content will appeal to almost anybody. 3. Anyone who recognizes the need to budget. 4. Those who have never or not yet learned how to budget. 5. Individuals or groups who are looking for a first step debt consolidation strategy and technique. 6. Someone who has come into some money through a lottery, casino win, gift or inheritance and want to ensure they know how to budget properly before they start spending left, right and center. 7. It is good for moms, dads, grandparents, children, friends and families to do. 8. It fosters independence and fiscal responsibility, accountability and stewardship. 9. Even those with reasonable income, now receiving less, will find some answers here. 10. The one who needs to understand expenses that need to be adjusted, and 11. Even those who prefer to feel and be in control of their expenses. 12. Family budgeting enables them to be in the position to know where they need to modify their lifestyle and make significant adjustments to ensure a bright and happy financial future. Some of the most important process elements and content pieces of family budgeting to read more about, study, learn and practice, hone and refine are a fundamental understanding of the principles, merits and mechanics of budgeting and the budgeting process itself, all the process steps to get you through the journey and to the resulting document, tool or magic numbers. Distinguish between fixed, variable and discretional expenditures. Identify and categorize all expenses, breaking them into categories and line items, time frames, other detailed sub-classifications and clustering. How to set up housekeeping budgets and what to consider. Identifying hidden expenses. 
identifying areas of discretionary spending, habits and perhaps overspending risk areas. Setting up expenditure recording systems. Decide on the best way suitable for you and your family to monitor what you spend. Set up a very basic home, personal budget filing system. Any calculations, formulas and budget principles you think will help you maximize and optimize your cash flow and money management. Another great way to learn about family budgeting is to ask around and to learn from others. With the internet at our disposal, there are numerous reliable sources of practical, tried, tested and true tips, strategies and techniques to follow. We selected but a few to provide a sample. Never underestimate the power of a shared experience. Sometimes exploring a financial activity like family budgeting conceptually is not enough. Getting a practical perspective with some hands-on tips can be more meaningful than a close description or analysis. There are lots of definitions, opinions and numerous books have been written on the subject of budgeting for families, by families and others. In our information age, knowledge is power these days and lots of parents and professionals share and voice their opinions openly on the internet, sharing and growing the body of knowledge. We selected a few examples to encourage others to explore these at their leisure as well. Here are 11 more practical suggestions and tips from online users posted on the internet on family budgeting. 1. Keep a record book as well as your bank book. It takes time and requires a lot of self-discipline. Start each month with the balance and enter every payment, etc. in advance, in the form of a calendar. It works well for most people due to the fact that they always have their actual working balance handy. Remember the comment about having your financial information at your fingertips. Here is a surefire way to get you on that path quickly. 2. Calendar calculations. Putting regular bills on a calendar based on due dates and when salaries are received proves helpful to some. This helps specifically to get everything paid on time and keep in perspective where the money actually goes, since all miscellaneous expenses are also recorded. Getting bills paid. Working out all the major and large bills, i.e., rent, car payment, insurance, etc., dividing it up so every week, that amount is removed from the family paycheck. Therefore, at the end of the month, there is need or risk to lose an entire paycheck to rent or car registration. 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 plan. Divide all bills weekly. A set amount goes to a savings account each week. When there is a fifth Friday in a month, you have a free paycheck to save. 5. Open a household account. In a second checking account, deposit a sum that covers your monthly expenses. Have all of your bills automatically withdrawn. This account acts as a holding cell for household obligations. The primary account is for day-to-day -day operations. Works for me. 6. A timely budget. Get a notebook. List expenses and the due dates. Divide payments into small amounts and use labeled envelopes for payments and money storage. Reduce duplicate credit usage to one or two credit cards. Use the net for bill paying and to check your accounts. 7. Yearly savings. Making a list of all annual or once a year type bills, car registration, shots for pets, school pictures, etc. And divide them by 12. Save this amount each month and when one of these items come up, you have the money to pay it. No more surprises. 8. Save credit card receipts. Keep an envelope in the car for the credit cards you use. When you buy anything using a card, put the receipt in the envelope as soon as you enter the car. Keep changing the envelope every month. This will save you time and hassle when looking for receipts. 9. Only twice a month. Separate all bills to be paid on either the 1st or 15th of the month. This enables you to pay all bills at once and on time. An added bonus is that you will also immediately know how much money you have left over for entertainment, vacation and other discretionary items. 10. Split into savings and checking. Figure out a budget based on a savings account, checking account split. Savings builds up for things like real estate taxes, vacations, and insurance. 
Checking is monthly, e.g. phone, groceries, etc. Split your monthly income into the savings and checking accounts according to the budget. Savings amounts are strictly budgeted. The checking account is controlled by watching the balance until the next payday. 11. Respect your partner's need for financial security. Everyone likes to buy the toys, but the overall financial security of the household needs to be considered first. I am not against toys, just save up the money first to buy them versus putting non-essential day-to-day expenses on credit. An example of a toy in my relationship was the spouse's need to have a big expensive truck in the driveway. I was not against the truck, I was against the debt to purchase the truck when there was no money in the savings or money built up for college tuition. Be considerate of the overall family financial situation and provide financial security for your family. Moreover, on living within a family budget, online users listed 14 more great practical suggestions on family budgeting. 1. Stay busy after work. One easy way to avoid overspending and thus stay within your budget is to have something else to do after work. Get a second job that is fun, go to school, volunteer or get into great physical shape. The more you do, the less you will spend. 2. Watch those miscellaneous categories. Make sure you have enough well-defined categories to capture your true spending. Putting too much into a miscellaneous category makes it harder to track what you have spent and harder to control, especially the splurges. 3. Need. If you did not know you need it, you probably do not. Do not buy things just because they are on sale. If you had no use or want for it before you saw it on sale, then you will have no use for it later. 4. Save money for special occasions on a budget. Add up how much you will spend on Christmas, birthdays, etc. Treat that total like it was a debt and make payments to a savings account for special occasions. Be sure to select a specific day of the month that your payment is due and stick with an amount. 5. Don't forget to budget for special occasions. When forecasting your expenses, remember to include gift-giving occasions. Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, birthdays, Christmas, and anniversaries are good examples. If you plan to spend money on these occasions, remember to include this in your budget. 6. Don't use a debt to get out of another debt. Do not take out a consolidation loan to pay off your other debts. The point is to get out of it, not to squeeze them together and end up paying interest on the loan while paying off your debts. Try consulting a free debt counselor service first. 7. Remember to budget time as well. We have all heard time is money. Well spent time can be an investment. Take a few minutes to plan ways to save on bills 15 or 20 minutes. Researching lower rates on electricity or long distance can pay off. You will know when time spent is not worth it. 8. The envelope system. Total yearly, monthly bills, divide each into 12 months. Divide monthly amount into bi-weekly payments. Use envelope for each bill, put in cash every two weeks. Use only the cash in envelope till it is gone. Do not touch your account, debt card. Envelopes only. 9. Good teeth cheaper. You can go to a dental school to have your teeth cleaned, filled, orthodontic work done, etc. The cost is approximately half what you would usually pay. Note, make sure you have some extra time as this takes a little longer. 10. Avoid expensive friends. Avoid friends who want to go for drinks all the time or suggest an evening at home. The money you spend on drinks and snacks, can buy something better, or go into your savings account. Also avoid friends who want to have supper at your house because you are a good cook, what that really means is that they are saving money while you are grocery shopping. 11. Keep track of your expenses on a daily basis. I call the bank's automated line and do my banking every single night before I go to bed. I can see what checks and or debits from my debit card are posted and what my running balance is. I compare with what I have in my checkbook or with receipts. This only takes about 10 minutes.
Often people get into trouble when they try to keep a running total of what they have left in their head and get into trouble. 12. How to live within your budget Organize, budget, and beat stress. 13. Know what you spend. Establishing a budget, and periodically entering all of your purchases into money managing software, should take the guesswork out of your finances. At the beginning, minor changes will most likely need to be made to your budget. Once you have a finalized budget, one person should be responsible for maintaining the budget and tracking finances. I sit down with my wife on a monthly basis and go over our financial results. If we are close to exceeding a budget line item during the month, I will tell my wife and we adjust our spending accordingly. 14. Cut down on interest. With bills happening throughout the month, people can find themselves poor one part of the month, and rich during the other. My bank offers free online bill pay, so I take all of my bills, and divide it by four. I then pay weekly, so I always have the same spending cash each paycheck. It also cuts down on the interest that accrues. Sometimes, just listening to the opinions of others opens up our minds to other possibilities we have not thought of read about or seen in any published material, industry-related textbooks or budget specialist tip sheets and how-to layouts. All the technical information, procedural and budgeting principles are extremely important if you want to ensure lasting and sustainable change. It is also undeniably true, that in this day and age, collaborating and connecting with others is how we learn. Utilizing online sources, electronic publications and shared experiences, solving common problems together is definitely the wave of the future. Some providers online offer, live customer consultations. These are mainly for financial issues and mostly your first hour is free. If you are in a real crunch, crises and need a budget fast, but do not have the time to even read through the Coles Notes version, then maybe the internet has the answer for you. Always remember that you are the best informed and decision maker in this process. Taking control of your finances should challenge, invigorate and excite you. You are taking charge of your life, getting your ducks in a row so to speak and traveling down the road of fiscal responsibility and reconnection. It is mostly a money crunch or crisis situation that make us lean towards budgeting more. Handling a money crisis well and realizing that family budgeting is but one pieces of that puzzle might be helpful. The expectations, problems faced, context and depth of the crisis, is as important as the steps, procedures, techniques, tools and budget worksheets you end up using. Admitting that there is a problem is normally considered a good first step. Asking for help is a close second. Money matters makes us do strange things. You are probably not the only one facing this situation. Therefore, take heart there is help out there. Even before getting to the how to steps for your own budget, work on your state of mind, immediate needs, concerns, dues and crisis. Consult a professional financial planner, who will assist you, in all likelihood, through an financial analysis of your situation, assembling facts and information, coming up with solutions, suggestions and alternatives you probably are not thinking of right now. Even when not under pressure or in crisis, when setting up a family budget, gather your thought, emotions, data, receipts, statements, input from others, discuss, consult, assemble, synergize and prepare to succeed. Get the most appropriate, accurate information you possibly can before setting up any expense categories or filling out worksheets. Get an extra set of eyes to look it over, you will not regret it. Sober, even keel, unemotional, rational, clear minded, level headed, and ready to take on any challenge, includes setting up a personal and family budget, income, expense statements, asset liability summaries, expense categories, line items, amounts, estimates, and more. Committed to succeed with a positive attitude and financial resourcefulness will serve you well in any situation, no matter what the money crunch or reason for your budgeting need may possibly be. Take responsibility and have realistic expectations. Take some risks when required. Be proactive and explore your options.
Do not hesitate to tackle controversial topics or expenditures, even if it can lead to conflict and disagreement. Couples and finances have always caused some difficulty, so it is all normal. Stabilize your situation, salvage what you can and move on, focus forward. Family budgeting has the past, present, future continuum all covered. Someone suggested that there are 11 steps in any new money management endeavor you undertake where personal interest and stake is high. Step 1. Change your expectations and be realistic. Step 2. Tell yourself the truth, face the music. Step 3. Decide how to pay for necessities, stopgap solutions. Step 4. Identify your assets, all of them. They're there, we just need to go find them. Step 5. Discover how much you cost. This is how much you spend and your contribution to situation and circumstance. Step 6. Calculate what you can afford to cost, cost cutting and balancing your budget. Step 7. Call your creditors, dealing with debt. Step 8. Quit paying late fees, work with professionals. Step 9. Create a family budget. Step 10. Do not ignore the following, IRS, parking tickets, association fees, car payment, immigration and other government affiliates that need to be pulled into your situation to assist you as best they can. Step 11. Manage your money every day. It is no surprise then, to even find the ever popular, budgeting, concept among these listed must-dos to recollect, reorient and return to fiscal freedom and avert further money-related crises. How should a family budget be used? This question immediately suggests that it should be part of the whole family budgeting process. It is much part of the learning around setting it up, considering its usefulness, function and purpose. Creating or setting up the budget is one thing. Sticking to it, effectively implementing, sustaining and if actual fact, in essence, using, it is the ultimate goal and achievement. That is worth celebrating. Families have different ways again to use or refer to their family budgets. For some it will be no more than a general guideline. For others it would constitute an absolute rule not to be bent or broken. Others still will use the family budget as a strategic planning tool to protect the interests of his, her family and plan for a full and happy life, setting a small amount aside for the future, invested smartly and securely, with confidence and pride. The very day the family budget actually assists you in reducing your spending and making informed smart financial decisions that is the day you do not sit back and relax, but throw all your energy back in making it even better. This is an ongoing, continuous improvement exercise, experiment and undertaking of your own making, design and creation. The family budget can assist you in handling unforeseen increases in costs and unbudgeted expenses. It is very common to get discouraged when on the family budgeting path. The minute you feel you have taken strides forward, something will happen, a setback, unexpected upset or expense, breakdown, maintenance or replacement or car, appliance, major purchase or repair and many other setbacks will occur. In a sense it makes families more robust, responsive and adaptable. Tracking your finances makes you aware of patterns and business cycles, cost and many other factors that affect hearth and home financial life and health. Rent increases, more expensive cigarettes or tax increases, higher gas or energy prices or increased mileage to and from work are but a few examples of these events and issues that might come up. When faced with these challenges, problems or complexities, having your fingers on the pulse of your available resources, discretionary monies, savings, line of credit rates, banking fees and more, will all help you make the right informed decision that is best for your family, at that time and act accordingly with diligence and confidence. You are in control of your financial situation and not the other way around. It enlightens and empowers you to do more with less. Unpredictable pricing and fluctuating expense are not easy to reduce in any budget. Having this variation handy, spread over a period of time, can help you plan better and anticipate sudden spikes or higher expenditure during certain months of the year. For example, the telephone bill is higher when the teenagers are home for the summer. 
emergency, contingency and improvements are not priorities for most of us when we receive our paycheck. To ensure a steady stream of income into these categories make saving for a rainy day come to life and have some real impact and meaning in our financial planning. Cutting non-essentials first is a good strategy. Alcohol, long-distance phone calls, gifts, gardening and landscaping services, decorating costs, pet care needs, recreation and lottery tickets can all be good money-saving categories. The more line items you can include, in your cost reduction, the smaller the dollar amount impact in each. It should come as not surprise that by just cutting a little in each of these categories, families can easily save upwards of $240 per year without too much noticeable difference in their lifestyle or any major disruptions or sacrifices. If is less than 1% of your total spending, it should not really cause pain, grief or reason for worry. Family budgets can also provide hints on how to save on non-essentials, buying more or less of a product or service, comparison shopping for the lowest possible price, bulk and discount, sale, buying a lower priced or no-name brand. Eliminating some gift giving, Christmas, birthdays, friends and family, is a way to save money. Elimination of waste is another clever way to save money that is often overlooked, but not in the family budget. Thrown out food because too much was purchased or it spoils because at time of purchase it was not as fresh as it could have been. Spur of the moment clothing purchases, too trendy, uncomfortable and not the right size perhaps. Making an active effort to participate in the family budgeting process will carry its own rewards as well. Self-discipline and curbing your own spending will soon become second nature almost. Enable families to make large spending reductions in the right places at the appropriate times. Anything from a small rent increase of a couple of dollars to an all-out job loss can impact home life and finances, and not in a positive sense. The family budget offers you the opportunity to prepare somewhat for this, whether proactive or responsive action follow. Flexibility and adaptability are bonuses with family budgeting. It will spell out the reality, damage, impact, what needs to be done at the barest of minimums to get by and offer stopgap solutions, practical and accessible right away. It is not to say that it will have you not worrying about it. All of us will be concerned if this is our situation, but it will leave you more prepared to deal with the challenges head on and right away as opposed to wasting time wondering what to do and how bad it is protect against income reduction and inevitabilities. In the case of job loss mentioned above there are also immediate realities to consider. Financial implications are huge for family life and the pressure is on. Family budgets and informed budgeted will tell you that this tool and time spent will be worth every penny if this were ever to happen to them. Because of the heightened awareness and familiarity with the context and content of the financial, spending and cost-cutting plans and strategies, goals and savings, the family budget process and product now offer avenues to solutions rather than barriers of debt and no point of return. Tackling normal spending categories first, reduced transportation costs, packing a lunch as opposed to having it in the cafeteria every day. Suspend all discretionary funding, move money in your accounts around to ensure liquid assets to cover basic expenses. Luxury items and recreation, sports and other leisure activities will be another category to find some budget dollars. Maintenance and repair costs might be suspended or delayed, cost cutting is never pleasant but the budgeting process makes it easier to know where the cushions and fat is that can be trimmed or eaten away at without risking heart and limb. Other positive job changes like promotions and relocations could also have a lot of impact. Taxes, relocation fees, buy and sell of homes, settling allowances, insurance, storage etc. They all add up. The family budget will help you assess your situation more clearly, leading to better decision making and informed empowered choice. Any discussion on how to set up a family budget will be incomplete without a section dealing with debt and debt consolidation.
Normally we use credit cards for a variety of good reasons, like convenience, business expenses, online commerce, instant accountability, unexpected bargains or expenses, medical and or other emergencies. There are however, also very definite situations where plunging yourself deeper into debt is not a good idea at all. An expensive item you know you cannot afford, indulgence shopping. If you do not have the cash funds to purchase it charging it is not going to make it easier for you to pay it. By putting it on plastic you just racked up the price and interest charges. Your budget will not thank you later for this one. Bad decisions often lead us down the wrong path. You will be left facing paying for this choice for a couple of years down the road still. Tele shopping or infomercials for gadgets and widgets. When grocery shopping, pay cash rather than plastic, or you will most likely overspend. Meals, drinks, nights out and other entertainment charges are all like the miscellaneous category in a budget. The balance and dues will just keep on piling up, if it is not tracked and monitored closely. If you are truly going to be budget-minded and money-conscious while trying to get out of debt, consolidating or in-debt repair avoid the plastic. Check the interest rates on your card, consolidate accounts, go through the exercise of balance transfers AL, and seek the advice of a professional to assist and advise you on how best to approach credit of any sort while on the mend to financial freedom, reputation, repair and recovery. For family budgeting purposes, credit cards are for emergencies only and should not be used to pay for bills or luxury items. Carrying a high balance, missing a payment, paying less than the minimum or other faux pas, might negatively affect your credit rating and undermine all the other good work you were doing in your budgeting process. Watch out for steeper late charges, higher rates, annual service fees, interest rates and charges, and cash advances. Using your credit card at an ATM for a cash advance can sometimes not be convenient, as the rate and cash advance fees can total as much as 24% or higher. This is even more than loan sharks or other payday-like loan providers. Do not use credit cards for any of the following reasons. Unbudgeted expenses you cannot pay for, having no cash savings to help you with unexpected expenses, consuming more than you can afford or impulse shopping. Debt management and family budgeting actually fit like hand in glove together. They complement and strengthen each other if used appropriately and with caution, diligence and commitment to change. It is advisable to get a handle very early on in your budgeting process on what exactly the debt situation is. For most people this is the most painful part of the process. Facing their monetary past and the aftermath of overspending, lack of budgeting and large debt. Extreme care should be taken early on as well to protect your financial interest. Review your family budget spending categories and avoid debt by every means you can and not use it for living expenses. Repaying your debt should be the main priority. Consulting with a financial planning and debt consolidation professional and specialist will help you answer the question whether you need to consolidate, transfer, stop using credit cards altogether, file for bankruptcy or what your other options are. Exhaust all the possibilities before pursuing this route. A personal debt review can be painful, but is very necessary to assess the status quo or where you are now and how good or bad it is. What is the depth of your obligation category in your budget where this will inevitably fall? Debt is a wide concept, covering lots of things, including mortgage, car credit cards and other retail credit card accounts and personal loans of any kind. IOUs from family or friends also have to be included, if you are honest about making a difference, repaying in a timely fashion and truly want to know how bad it really is. Your summary sheet can carry the following headings, account, total amount due, monthly payment, total interest paid last year, and interest rate. Financial advisors call this a debt review register. It is painful to see this data, because it will clearly show the impact of bad financial decision making. Interest paid gives you absolutely no benefit whatsoever. Strategies for debt and cash flow management in a family budget include. 
consolidating all consumer debt that is everything you owe, except for your mortgage, and making it a priority to pay it off in a timely fashion, getting reduced rates and maximizing your effort in wiping the financial slate clean. Paying off high interest credit cards first. Use a line of credit if you can as the interest rates are typically lower. Suspend any kind of spending on any credit card and establish good habits paying in cash for purchases. Use all store-based cards wisely or not at all, if that is the disciplined approach you have chosen. Store-based card often have no annual fees and you could qualify for them even with a low credit score, showing restraint and good fiscal management by making your payments on time every time and keeping the account up to date will go a long way to regaining your confidence and repairing your credit. Utilize the service of a good credit counseling service to assist you and deal with your habitual overspending and shopping addiction. Use credit card statements for budgeting purposes for accuracy and tracking. Loans are handled no differently, the strategy is pretty much the same, find the highest loan balance and the highest rate and start paying the latter first. Avoid any new debt. If after a six-month period you have paid like clockwork, contact your creditors and negotiate a lower rate at that time to ease the burden a little bit. Student and educational loans are approached as investments in your future and is a hybrid and shoulder debt category really. Loan payback for all tuition debt needs to be included in your family budget. Taking a second job evenings and weekends might be the answer here, while honing and practicing your skills and gaining some more experience as well. This might lead to better business opportunity later and higher paying jobs later in life. Take heart. Family budgets are not here to depress you even further. The fact that you are taking proactive measures to participate in your life, sends the right signals, not only to creditors and credit counselors, but also to the family members that care so deeply about you too. Another popular topic for family budgets, is children and fun activities. How to make the most of these togetherness opportunities, while living and functioning within limited means and on a budget, causes many money-wise parents concern. The best things in life are free, you just need to know where to find them, how to look and then enjoy them together. Being cash-strapped or budget-challenged should not minimize the fun you as a family have together. Prioritize it together with the other members and the children in the home, if they are older, discussing alternatives like picnics, walks, visiting a beach, lake or park close by. Look for locations with lots of open area space, baseball fields, tennis courts, and basketball courts. Use coupons for entertainment like DVD rentals, miniature golf and other sports. Matinee rates for movies are a great way to save money. Play board games with friends, arrange potlucks and play dates. Visit zoos and museums and outdoor summer concerts that are usually free of charge. Add fun elements to choosing, like putting the activities in a hat and letting others choose what to do next. Avoid window shopping, mall crawling or expensive shops where you will be tempted to spend more money or leave feeling guilty that you cannot. For discounted, bargain-priced brand-name kids' clothing, shopping at end-of-season sales is a real budgetary blessing. Budget for one very special outing or event, you can do as a family and set aside a little extra if you can for that annual camping, local or road trip you plan for, in your family budgeting process each and every year. Family budgets is not all doom and gloom. There are always ways to do little things together, make memories and invest time and attention in one another that costs absolutely nothing but time, a smile, a hug or two and a caring heart to share them all with. Final thoughts on setting up a family budget. None of us want to remain or be without money, short on cash, cash strapped and not able to live well and or get the things we need, dream about and want. Family budgeting brings us one step closer to our fiscal realities, while offering more than the direction and route, but also the tools and techniques to get to fiscal nirvana. Most of us have an inherent want to protect what is rightfully ours. Our hard-earned cash is no exception here. 
we want to enable, as far as it is in our power, to utilize what little or much we do have to the best advantage and our family benefit overall. Family budgeting helps us do so with method, structure, elements and processes that enable success. Family budgeting can assist have and have nots alike make better financial decisions with a future perspective always in mind. Building greater awareness of where our money actually goes, or ends up, can be enlightening and empowering at the same time. Some react with shock and horror, as they realize they're their own worst enemy. They bear witness to impulse-driven shopping and periods with no fiscal discipline. Realizing that this course of action hurt you and your family in the long run puts a sudden halt on the money flowing out typically. Even if the effect does not last too long. Although family budgeting can be overwhelming at first, the tools and techniques, process and steps to follow are fairly simple, straightforward and easy. Like Sir often said, it is not rocket science. We just need to have the right attitude, motivation and persistence to see and follow things through. Budget or bust. Family budgeting can help you get, be and remain in control of your money and family's financial situation. Be kind to your pocketbook. Set aside time to work on your household financials and budgeting processes on a regular basis. Keep it up to date and accurate. This way you can spot problems early, react quickly and come up with creative solutions in the short term to address any issues, challenges or shortfalls. Be on top of things. Family budgeting helps you know your own financial facts. You will be able to know, instinctively and exactly what is going on with your cash balance without even looking at your statement necessarily. A good test to tell whether someone is using a family budget for their household is to have them write down the exact amount they have in the bank today, and as of now also on their person, in their wallet. Add the two and write down the total right now. What did you learn from this exercise? Let us take it one step further. What do you owe? Include credit cards, car financing, mortgage and other debt. Subtract what you owe from what you have. Have you learned anything by doing this simple exercise? For most of us the answers would be astonishing. This hands-on involvement and knowledge about your finances helps some and not others. For some of us just glancing at our statement now and again, having no idea as to what is in our wallets, is quite all right too. That is, as long as you are not finding ways to spend it without realizing it. In family budgeting, do not be hesitant to set stretch goals too. Whether you get there by cost cutting, taking a second, part-time or seasonal job or find another source of supplemental income, it helps you raise the bar even higher. Family budgeting is not just about budgeting to the last cent and flying by the seat of your pants. It offers structure, wisdom, decision-making and reward for the serious and tenacious amongst us. Taking it on as a major and regular task and priority will change your quality of life, sometimes without you even realizing it. You are in it for the long haul. Take responsibility for spending. If this means laying down some ground rules in your household and cutting back on a couple of luxury items, that needs to be discussed, agreed upon and stuck to, to make your budget work and have an impact over time. Family budgeting is about minimizing and totally avoiding if possible any unexpected and deemed unnecessary spending. Spell out the realities and consequences of these purchases to others, short on cash, family tension, unnecessary stress and complications, hardship and more. Openly discussing it builds fiscal responsibilities on all fronts. This does not mean rigidity or inflexibility. Need, merit, means and circumstance will obviously dictate. Family budgeting is also about shared responsibility. All members can participate, even the kids. Taking responsibility for the grocery bill for example. Mom is responsible mainly for the weekly outing to the store, but when it comes to the staples like milk, bread, eggs and cheese, one of the teenagers can be entrusted with the budget funds and task, health shop for bargain, check flyers and more. Setting house rules about who gets to pay for what and when is also important when you have young adults still living in the house or have borders. 
Family budgeting allows the channel for discussion and eventually mutual agreement on financial goals and priorities. Perhaps the most important part of all, is that family budgeting helps us all learn where the money actually goes, as opposed to where we think it does or should go. Normally very different things. The initial realization of the amounts, usually larger than we think, involved on incidental, discretionary and impulse buying is an eye-opener for most and ends up saving families all kinds of money they never knew they had. Just brining that into the awareness and our conscious mind tends to put a stop to unnecessary expenditure. Mall crawling and hanging out in retail stores to kill time is counterproductive and part of the reason we spend frivolously. From bookstores, to lottery tickets, gourmet coffee, food court lunch, and a quick movie, items you do not really need, but think you or your spouse or kids would like leads to hasty, flawed and almost distorted decision making. The thought, actions and actually purchases are not budget driven and money conscious at all. All these things add up over time. Smoking, daily coffee, or two, buying candy, chocolates, pop, magazines and more to kill time, are all money guzzlers that should be avoided. Other examples of incidental money guzzlers are parking meters, donuts, shoe repair, raffle tickets, fundraising, car wash, pay phone. Avoid it is probably unrealistic, but family budgeting, blogging and tracking at least makes us more aware of these categories and traps. Have a category in your budget for miscellaneous and track it for say the 3rd of June 12 months and see how it adds up. Beware the flyers, advertisements, special discounted sales and other retail or sales tricks of the trade that tempt, entice and lure you in to spend your precious dough. Keep on tracking spending and income no matter what. A good tip for family budgeting is, at least initially, get a notebook and a pen and write things down as opposed to going to high tech, spending money to get it done etc. Avoid this being or becoming just another unexpected and unplanned expense. It is supposed to help you, not hurt you. Tools are great, but process and results are better. Family budgeting help you focus on the different types of expense you and your family and household face. The annual ones are the hardest, we tend to put them on the back burner and they tend to be larger amounts too. Having them in your budget assists us not forgetting their major expenses like school fees, judo or gym memberships, dance classes, Christmas and birthday gifts, babysitting or nanny salaries and more. Fiscal restraint, wise decisions, weighing options, informed choice, plan set and formulated goals and projection estimates and steps to get there all work together in the family budget to get you back on track and on the road to enjoying your dollar earnings. Initially, when setting up your family budget probably for the first time, it is acceptable when estimating some of the expenditures and costs are on the higher side. This will definitely show you where you would need to cut back if you had to add in budget line items or budget for big purchases like appliances, furnace replacement etc. Family budgets keep it real, in the moment and as humble, on our toes and accountable. Some realities we will have to live with. Some fixed costs we are not able to reduce right away or at all. The fact of the matter is, we are on the lookout and actively finding other and innovative ways to cut spending and costs that we would otherwise not have been motivated enough to do of our own accord. Surely, the most interesting effect of the family budget on most people, is revealing our personal spending habits, preferences, weaknesses or, buttons to push, my kids call them. Family budgeting helps us to get to know what they are and improve on them. Where and why, on what and how much are all factors that impact while our money keeps vanishing. We are most often the biggest culprits here. Shopping excursions should be minimized, they are just a good excuse for buying unnecessary items. Overspending while with a group of friends or peers are all too common these days. Grocery bills hide a lot of sins, or impulse buying, chocolates, chips, magazines, ice cream etc. Also knowing when during the year you tend to spend more money, is also important, bulk buying might be the answer. Think juice and snacks when the kids are home for summer for example. This also helps people realize that funds should be available almost year round and that life is unpredictable.
Family budgeting is one of those activities that none of us really truly value, until we see or feel it make a difference. If you stick with it long enough, disciplined and committed, you will experience the dynamic impact and life-altering influence and contribution of this tool and process. Happy number crunching. Have fun creating your own family budget. Therefore, for now, we will stop our discussion here. Throughout these pages, attempts were made to show the need, benefits, nature, elements, advantages, processes and techniques for family budgeting that can get you started right away, offering practical advice and poignant suggestions that apply to your unique situation, whatever that may be. We trust it has been time well spent and happy trails on your journey back to fiscal control, independence and empowered decision making. Pass it on. Some final thoughts, money saving perspectives and inspirations. If saving money is wrong, I don't want to be right. William Shatner. Canadian actor, writer and producer most famous for starring Captain Kirk in the television series Star Trek. B.1931. A simple fact that is hard to learn is that the time to save money is when you have some. Joe Moore. Save a little money each month and at the end of the year you'll be surprised at how little you have Ernest Haskins.